Hi there. In this video, we are going to go over how to use the man command, which is one of the more important tools that you can use to find out about various commands and also about standard library functions for C. So the man pages are uh, pretty nice. Uh, the easiest way to use one is if you happen to know the command you're looking for, you can type man and then the name. So let's say man ls uh, looks like this and it gives you a little description and it gives you all of the uh, various flags that you use for the uh, for the program you're trying to look at. So it's nice. And I'm just using the up and down arrow keys. You can also use the J to go down and the K to go back up, uh, much like Vim, uh, which is in a different video. And you can uh, keep doing that uh, to find, if you want to find something, you type the slash key, forward slash, and notice I've typed forward slash down here. And then you type something like, let's say I wanted to find out what the uh, dash A command did. I type slash and then dash A and then enter and it will come up and over here that's not the one I'm looking for so I type N, lowercase n, to go to the next one. That's not it. Uh, let's see, if it's, I guess I'm already too far down so if I, because I kept hitting N and it's a pattern not found, but if I kept hit uppercase N it will take me back to the top and you can find that, there it is, uh, dash A stands for do not ignore entries starting with period, which are your hidden files. So uh, there's also, for instance, dash uppercase A, which is nice. It just it still gives you the hidden files, but not the two special directories. So there you go. Uh, if you want to exit out of man, you just type the Q command, and it will take you back to where you are, which is kind of nice. It actually refreshes the screen back to where you are. So if I have something up here and I go, oh, how do I want to keep that screen, and I type man ls, when I type Q, it goes back and refreshes the screen to where you are. So, so that's nice. Now, what if you don't want to, or you don't know the actual command, but you go, you know, I think something has to do with uh, print, for instance, man-k print, and it will, it will uh, give you all the different things. Man-k means um, find all the commands that happen to uh, say something about printing in them. So you'll notice there's lots in here. I'm actually going to do my regular scroll up to see some of these. But uh, let's say I look through this and I go, oh, you know what, it's actually printf that I'm looking for. If I type man-k printf, it will give me just the printf commands. And you'll notice there's a couple in here. Oh, it is just printf. So man printf will give me the Unix command printf, which says, oh, it's, you know, you have formatting and you have options. It's much like the C printf command, actually. Uh, in fact, it'll do all the different uh, types of things. So if I want to just type printf, and then I type uh, hello world, like that, and then a new line, it will do hello world with a new line. If I forgot the new line, by the way, it will do that, and then put my prompt after it like this, probably not what you want to do. Uh, another similar command happens to be echo, which we use probably more often, hello world, like that, we'll just echo hello world. Uh, so anyway, that's how you use that. The, the synonym for man-k is actually apropos, and then uh, printf, and it will give you that. Now, if you notice, by the way, printf, there's two of them here. Which one do we look at? Well, the first one that comes up is the one if you just type man printf. But this means the type of, uh, the part in the manual that, it, that it's actually in. Uh, three happens to be all of the standard, the C standard library functions, which is actually kind of cool. If you type man3 printf, it will tell you the how to actually use it. So you have pound includes uh, studio.h and then, or stdio.h, and then you can uh, use printf from there and it tells you how to do that. So for instance, there's another one, man3 atoi which actually stands for ASCII to integer. So for some reason you wanted to convert a string to an integer, this is one way to do it in, in C, and it will tell you uh, how to actually do it. So that's kind of nice as well. So that's the man command. You should get used to it, and you, should, you will use it frequently when you want to look up various flags and options for commands. Thanks.